Hi, I knew how to add an LED to your True Bypass Crybaby pedal. First, we'll start by taking off the back cover for the pedal. As you can see here, my pedal is currently wired up to a double pull, double throw switch. You've got two inputs on this a clean input and a circuit input. If you want to add an LED to this, you're going to need a bigger switch and you'll need a triple pull, double throw switch, and this will add another input uh, for the LED to be added. So you're going to need to get yourself an LED. It doesn't really matter what size you get or what color, but I have chosen a blue three millimeter LED, uh, and I'll explain the reasons why I chose a three millimeter LED in a bit. You are also going to need an LED holder to house the LED inside the chassis of the pedal. So for my 3mm LED, I've got a 3mm LED holder for it. I've also got a 2K resistor, which you're going to need to solder to the cathode or short leg of the LED. And finally, you're going to need some more wire because we're adding some more wires to the circuit board. So now you have to unsolder all of the wires off of the switch and remove the switch completely from the pedal. Now you have to remove both input jack bolts from either side of the pedal and remove the screw holding in the PCB and remove the wire and connector plug and then take out the PCB out of the pedal. Now you need to fit the new triple pull double throw switch inside the pedal. So in order to power the LED you're going to have to steal some power from the PCB itself. Now you'll find the negative connection just above this diode just here on the right and the positive connection just north of this resistor on the left here. Any thumps or bumps that might occur audibly uh, when turning the LED will be taken out by the capacitor here which is part of the output buffer. Now you have to cut yourself off two bits of wire. A long piece running from the positive connection on the PCB just north of the resistor running to the anode or long leg of the LED and then another piece of wire running from the negative point on the PCB just north of the diode running to the switch. What I found worked best for me was to unsolder the back of the PCB for one leg of the diode and one leg of the resistor and pull one side out and then put in the wire that you want to attach into the back of the PCB and then on the other side on the front of the PCB you want to push the leg into the wire and then solder it all together. And then the back of your printed circuit board should look like this. Two wires on the left are the positive and negative power for the LED and the one on the right at the top is your clean input signal wire. And now you can put your PCB back into the pedal. So now to solder the wires onto the new switch. And we'll start with the clean input signal wire which gets soldered onto the middle left terminal point here. The green wire or circuit input gets soldered onto the top left terminal. The purple wire or the clean output wire gets soldered onto the center terminal point. The blue wire or FX circuit output gets soldered onto the top center terminal. You will need to solder a small piece of wire to these two terminal points in order to create a jumper. Now you have to take the wire which we've just put into the top part of the diode and run it to the top right terminal on the switch. So if you notice there is a pre-drilled hole on the side of the pedal just here on the left and our LED fits perfectly into this hole, like so. So what we're going to be doing is soldering on a small piece of wire uh, to the short leg or cathode of the LED. You should then have something that looks like this. You will now have to cut off two bits of heat shrink to go over the wire and then slide both bits of the heat shrink over the wire before you solder on the other end to the switch. And then use a lighter to heat up the heat shrink around where the exposed metal is. Okay, so now we're going to take the other wire that we soldered onto the PCB from the resistor and then we're going to thread it through the chassis of the pedal and then through the hole on the side of the pedal. Now you can snip any excess cable off. Now slide a small piece of heat shrink over the wire and down it as far as you can to avoid it shrinking near where you're going to solder. Now you can solder on the wire running from the PCB from the resistor to the anode or long leg of the LED. 
Now slide over the heat shrink from further down the wire over the exposed metal. Now you can thread the wire through that we soldered on earlier through the hole and into the main chassis of the pedal. Now get your LED holder and pop it over the LED and push it into the side of the pedal. Now get your 2K resistor and solder onto the switch onto the middle right terminal. Now snip off any excess wire off of the resistor before soldering. Now solder the first wire we added to the LED onto the cathode or short leg of the LED onto the resistor on the switch. Slide the heat shrink we added earlier onto the wire down over the exposed metal and resistor just above the switch and then heat up to shrink it. You can if you want glue the back of the LED to secure it inside the pedal. Okay, the cover back on and try it out. Yeah, 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 yeah.